Hi, welcome to Coffee with Baseload. Today with me I have my colleague, Gabriela Skog, with a really interesting journey from being a geologist to coming to our marketing team. Hi, Gabriela. Hi, Sonia. Can you tell us how your journey was and why was that way? <laughs> I know you're like, you know, influencer and you're creative part. So what make you go on this journey? That's uh, it's a really good uh, question. Uh, and I don't think it was uh, something that just happened mm. overnight. Um, I think uh, in a startup like Baseload, everyone does a little bit of everything. Uh, so it's a lot of um, collaboration between different teams. Uh, and I think I, I always had like a tendency towards, towards the marketing team, like helping out a little bit with copy whenever it came to like mm. really technical stuff and geology, uh, like terms um, and facts. Uh, and then I also did like a, a small gig with uh, social media channels as well, but yeah. it didn't work out <laughs> due to like the work amount. And then I had like a small phase where I was like questioning my career path overall. Um, it felt hard to be like a geologist within geothermal while still wanting to be based in Sweden. Mm -hmm. I've done some remote work in Iceland and in the US um, and I'm fine to like live there for a while temporarily. But my home is still in Sweden and we don't have that much geothermal electricity here. Yeah. Um, so I was looking out for different options and um, the marketing team really like welcomed me with open arms uh, and I think the mentality at Baseload is really that we want to keep the family. Yeah, um, that's true. So like the priority <coughs> when I spoke to my colleagues was like, you know, figure out what you want to do, but just stay here. But that's uh, nice. And we love you in the <laughs> marketing team. <laughs> and I love the marketing team. It's been such a great uh, experience to like have my knowledge as a geologist. Um, exactly and take advantage of that into mm -hmm. the marketing team. And I feel like you probably have the same experience coming from law into exactly. marketing as well, having a lot of like experience with legalities and contracts and, and stuff. And then switch completely in yeah. another world. Yeah. But it's something that you have deep in you that is like, you know, boiling. Yeah, for you sure. You need to just find your path. Yeah, exactly. And then feel, oh, this is it. This is really it. And yeah. then land in that uh, decision and just, you know, trusting your gut feeling, mm. like feeling for a long time that something is, you know, wrong, maybe not like catastrophical, but, uh, you know, trusting that gut feeling and exactly. moving towards it. And of course, having the advantage of colleagues and uh, managers that mm -hmm. supports you in that uh, decision is, you know, such a privilege. And I'm really, really thankful for it. I agree. Um, now, when you feel like home in marketing team, there is one great project on the yes. rise. Yes. So can you tell us more about it? Absolutely. The idea, um, yeah. how, what will we do with it? Uh, so uh, I think anyone who has followed Baseload know that we're uh, always striving towards thinking new and outside of the box when it yeah. comes to communication within geothermal energy. Uh, so we've, lot of, we've done a lot of fun productions like Coffee with Baseload and The Switch, not just another podcast. Uh, and then the virtual seminar, uh, but we came to a point where we wanted to renew ourselves again. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've started a collaboration with the Think Geo Energy, uh, one of the largest platforms in the geothermal mm -hmm. world. So they're coming from being a news segment or like a, a news publisher within the geothermal world. And we are good at uh, productions and large projects like this. So we've created a product called um, GeoTV. Mm. which will be essentially their news channel, but in a video format and super quick edits. It will feel uh, fun and relaxed. And the idea is for contributors within the industry to send in like news and topics that they want to share with the whole geothermal, geothermal industry, industry. Uh, which I think will be really exciting to see how it all comes together. Um, so we want to give something back to the industry, both when it comes to knowledge and information spreading as mm, well. Exactly. And unite to the whole industry in unite, a sense. For sure. For sure. Uh, we want to open the doors mm -hmm. that we feel has been closed for a while. Yeah. Um, so more transparency, more open communication and just sharing each other on, I think, is super important. So in what stage actually is now the project? 
So we are in the final stage of editing the first uh, episode. We just recorded it uh, on Iceland and it will be released uh, by the end of April. And I'm super excited about it. Mm. And how was the your role in that when you were recording? You you went like being a flying reporter. <laughs> that sense. Yeah, so I was like the flying reporter together with my colleague Christina and then Alexander Richter at Think to Energy. Um, so we were uh, reporting about these news, uh, filming on Iceland, uh, and then I did like the creative uh, directory of the whole production mm -hmm. together with uh, Johannes, who mm -hmm. is filming and editing the episodes. Um, and then we have Carlo at Think to Energy as well, who is bringing together and summarizing the news, like the headlines from the past quarter. Um, so we're a whole uh, team of uh, super enthusiastic people that are excited to put this out in the world. Yeah, I'm so sure that this will be the blast when, <laughs> when we take it out. Me too, me too. And in the future, we do need questions. So please follow us on YouTube, on, uh, fo uh, go to our web page and uh, submit questions. So we have topics too for the next episode yes. of GeoTV. And of course, the new episode of The Coffee with Baseload. Yeah. Yep. We're going to be blasted all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, of mm. course. <laughs> and now I'm like looking like oh, the buns. <laughs> the buns. Is it time for fika? It's time for fika. Oh, nice. Which one will you pick? Oh, she. Oh. <laughs> no, <just> <laughs> <laughs> oh, she took my <laughs> buns. <laughs> this. <laughs> um, I will try this one. I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah, me but, neither. Uh, but you have to explain me since I'm yeah, not I, from Sweden, although I have blue hair and people usually come to me speaking. <laughs> so I'm like, no, no, no. No, no, no. It's just, and it's the opposite for me. They're like, where are you from? <laughs> Can you say that in your language? I'm like, yeah, it's So it's I should Swedish. feel like home. Yeah, exactly. It should feel like home. Exactly. <laughs> it looks delicious. Mm, it is. Mm. Check in the next episode. Mm. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>